God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Stephen the deacon was the first to follow. Christ's great example, done to death by sinners, Though all his actions and his words were prompted by the Lord's Spirit, enemies anger destined him to perish, stoned by his hearers, victim of their fury. Yet, like his Saviour, in his dying moments, pleading their pardon. Of the same nature as the blessed martyrs, let us sing praises to our God Almighty, who honoured Stephen with the martyr's glory, first among thousands. Amen. You have been endowed from your birth with princely gifts. In eternal splendor, before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have been endowed from your birth with princely gifts. In, In eternal splendor, before, before the dawn, dawn of light on earth, I have, have begotten you. With the Lord is unfailing love. Great is his power to save. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. With the Lord is unfailing love. Great, Great is his power to save. In the beginning, before time began, the Word was God. Today he is born, the Savior of the world. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, 
the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and, by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the beginning, before time began, the The Word was God. God. Today Today he is born, the Savior of the world. God is light. In him there is no darkness. If we walk in light, As he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. While earth was wrapped in silence, and night only have through its course. Your almighty word, O Lord, came down from his royal throne. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. While earth was wrapped in silence and night only half through its course, your almighty word, O Lord, came down from his royal throne. Alleluia. The word of God, by coming to dwell with us, has opened the path to eternal salvation. Let us pray to him with sincere humility. Lord, deliver us from evil. Through the mystery of your incarnation, through your birth and infancy, through your whole life dedicated to the Father. Lord, deliver us from evil. Through your labor, your preaching, and your journeys, through your continual encounters with sinners. Lord, deliver us from evil. Through your agony and passion, your cross and desolation, through your sufferings, your death and burial. Lord, deliver us from evil. Through your resurrection and ascension, through your gift of the Holy Spirit, through your joys and everlasting glory, free our departed brothers and sisters, O Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. All-powerful God, may the human birth of your Son free us from our former slavery to sin and bring us new life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.